Hi everyone, it's Alicia Power here. Welcome to our new podcast. It's called We're Open. Uh, myself, Alicia and Claudine Grimwood, she's here. And I'm very excited to introduce you to Claudine. Claudine's a very dear friend of mine. We've known each other for a very long time. I'm long way in my spiritual development. Um, I work as a spiritual teacher. I've got a big following on social media with it, uh, with teaching people how to talk to their spirit guides, how to be um, just clearer in their spiritual direction. Claudine is more near the beginning of her search in spirituality and her spiritual development. And that's why our beautiful podcast here, We're Open, we can just chat about our journeys and discuss it. And we're going to be answering your questions. And today we've got some questions that we're going to be looking at. Um, some people have sent in their questions. So with that, I'd like to introduce you to Claudine. Hello, Claudine. Hello, Hello Alicia. <laughs> How are you? Hello. I'm really great. And I'm just very excited that you can be on here with me and that we can just explore people's questions about spirituality and from your perspective, from my perspective. Absolutely. So, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. I mean, I'm just really excited that we're starting this podcast because a lot of people out there have got questions about spirituality. They've got questions about spirit guides. They've got questions about soul purpose and life purpose. It's huge and life yeah. meaning in their life, right? There is at the moment. I feel a real trend towards that, finding our purpose and who we are. And um, yeah. there's so much more out there than what we know. Yeah, well, exactly. Life's, <laughs> you know an that. life's an opening book, an unfolding book, you know. Yes, we just, it is. We just keep moving forward. Hey, what's a question that we've got today for our listeners and for those people yeah. watching this podcast for the I've first got time? I've got a great question. Now, this one's coming from Gail. Gail asks, what is the most important thing or things I can do to move my life powerfully and permanently in the direction I am choosing to experience. So thank you, Gail, for that question. Alicia, what do you feel on that one? So what's the first part of that question again? What is the most powerful so, thing? What is the most important thing or things I can do to move my life powerfully and permanently in the direction that she wants to go in? Yes. Well, from my point of view, it's all about clarity of what that direction is. And if she's sending that question in, it's about usually about spirituality and spiritual fulfillment, usually. And, and so from my point of view, I've got my ideas, but what would you say, just to start off with Claudine, what, how would you respond yeah. to that? Um, well, as you just touched on, I think it's clarity around what's what's your direction. Once you've got a direction, I find for me, then you can create a path towards that. But sometimes it's hard just beginning, just finding the direction that you want to go in. And from there, um, it's creating little rituals um, and steps each day toward that, being inspired, finding mentors and working. I've learned you've just got to work on it every day. It's not something that's like an eight-week type session or a course it's it's got you've got to immerse yourself in that wow and do you know what I'm hearing when you're saying that is that you've got to have a drive like absolutely for you to show up every day with a with a ritual or with a with something to do towards that underneath that must be a burning yearning <laughs> Absolutely, and a goal that you're working towards or something that's inspiring you that you want to yeah. be or obtain or reach. Yeah. So, And that, that will propel you towards that. And so just really quickly from your point of view, um, how do, what do you do? What are some of your rituals? Yeah, there's many. <laughs> and I'm just like a, an ongoing student of spirituality. Um, but I think putting those rituals into place every day, so it starts when you wake up in the morning. I've just started to, to have lemon in water, which is, sounds really simple. But that's clean. And then I Can like I, to do a meditation. We just lost you there. What does the lemon in water do? 
So it's detoxing, yeah. detoxifying and cleansing because um, I have some digestive issues. So mm. it's just you can feel it just in warm water. Yep. So that's just and it's just little rituals. Then it might be a small meditation um, and then I'll, I might go for a walk. I like to do strength training, journaling. Um, it doesn't have to be long for each of those. And then what does journaling give you? Just 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 really quickly, because journaling is such a explosive, positive thing to do, isn't it? Like almost unlimited um, effects, positive effects. Absolutely. In so many actually, directions. Yeah, and I like it's. They say writing it down physically mm. in a beautiful journal rather than just typing it into your digital memo. So you're writing it and I was focusing on starting November last year about gratitude. So what I was grat grateful for from the previous day, what went well and just that gratitude, just finding anything to be grateful for. Yeah. And just really quickly, what does that strengthen in you? That sort of gives you, well, it just makes you feel, you know, you realise how lucky you are. Um, and then it gives you momentum to move forward and find more things to be grateful for. And then it's yep. like a, mag a magnet because I'm also huge, passionate on manifesting. So that's a whole other topic. But if the gratitude brings more in, the more you're grateful, the more you will receive. And writing things down and, and especially with that gratitude element coming in on the writing things down, I think it builds a muscle inside just we're just focusing Absolutely. on this this whole thing about clarity i guess just doesn't it yes, like it, it yes. builds this muscle or it builds the clarity because if you're writing down things that you love and that you're grateful for i think your whole kind of focus in life starts getting clearer and clearer about what you love to what you love and what you're wanting it does it will come in for you as much as you think oh i'm never going to find it these little rituals and steps um, it does, it'll find you. Um, yep. And as you said, it's like building, I like to do weights, so building your body, but you've got to build that mind muscle more than anything. So interesting, so interesting. I, I just find that's uh, such a huge key. Meditation is an incredible key, like you mentioned, yes. every day, even if it's yeah. five minutes a day. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be half an hour or it doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's just finding that quiet space. Um, and it can just be sitting in in silence, or you can tune into something online, or yeah. But it's just giving your mind a little a little break. <laughs> That's right. And also, from a from a spiritual psychic point of view, um, you're connecting with your soul. You're connecting with the still inner part of yourself. You're actually it's such a self love thing to do, isn't it? Where you absolutely. You, where you just quieten everything down just by sitting. <laughs> you know, just the action of just sitting. And trying to quieten your mind, what if, whether you're using a whether you're using a mantra, whether you're using um, following your breath. There's on YouTube. There's a million ways to meditate. Lots of spiritual teachers are teaching you how to meditate. So, just finding some of that. Um, my brother asked me how to meditate a few years ago, and I just found that he was jump, jumping into YouTube and had his headphones on once a day because he had a busy day and he'd come home and he'd put these headphones on and he'd go into a deep meditation and he just yeah. loved it. He discovered meditation, right? Yes. So just, just, and it just, he did it because he was so stressed and also he was feeling he had negative thoughts in his mind. And, and yeah. so yeah. all of these things are ways to, to, it's like a boat lifting on a tide. You just start lifting. The more Absolutely. You the more you do do these practices, eh? Yeah, and you'll you feel it as, and you feel it. You know when it's happening, and it's and it's it's almost magical when it does start to happen. Mm, 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 totally. Yeah. And what you're saying, actually, Claudine, and, and it's absolutely true, is that when you start doing these little practices, these little rituals, you start feeling better, and it creeps up you on you. It's like this. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm smiling, I'm reacting to people with sort of joy rather than with, you know, some negative narky. <laughs> that's that's it. And it's, it's about spreading it, spreading the love to someone else and giving someone a smile and that makes their day and then they might go and give someone a smile. So it's that knock-on effect as well. It's more than just us. 
Absolutely true. Hey, just coming back to that journaling thing, which is just a huge thing too, and you're saying it exactly, which is that you're yeah. training your brain. Um, you, and what I was just saying too, which is you, you're training your brain to get clearer on what you like, because it's like, I'm so grateful for the blue sky. I'm so grateful that I exercised today. I'm so grateful that I met so-and-so because they cheer me up. I'm so grateful that... Um, Anything so that I bought it. Food, that yeah, I bought a nice dress today. <laughs> yeah, to have a roof over our head, to sleep in a bed. It goes on and on and on because you think, oh, I'm, I'm out of grateful things. And I found I did like, the, I think it was a 28 day um, gratitude challenge in November. And you had to write 10 things a day, I think it was. And I managed to just find 10 things every day. Wow. So, which is quite a lot. But the, I built momentum after the first few days. It just started. I got in a little ritual every morning and I was just grateful every day. Coffee is number one. <laughs> <laughs> For me <laughs> <There was> too. <laughs> <laughs> one good, co good coffee a day. Yeah. I love my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Got to be a good one. Claudine, I totally love that. I'm just going to tune in a little bit and... Um, and just see, because I work with the worlds of spirit, with my spirit guides quite closely, I just love to notice if they've got some input on this because it's um, it's just such a beautiful, it's such an important discussion. You know, this it is. How can I move forward really deliberately um, towards my purpose, towards yes. my life goal, towards life satisfaction, towards, and what we're talking about is tools and life experience that does it, that actually just does it. Meditation, staying in that sweet spot. Um, just really quickly on meditation, if you do that five minutes, 10 minutes of meditation, the whole rest of your day is different. It's like you're walking in some kind of a slipstream of calm for the rest Absolutely. of your day. Yeah, yeah it is a, it's, it's a calmness um, and it's just quietening because we have so many things go through our minds. So. It's just giving us that nice peace for that time. Totally. And and it just it's like locking yourself in a gear, in a in a calm gear inside yourself. So that's such a, a powerful one. And yeah. from that place, you can see more, you can be more grateful, you can react more from from that joy and yes. from from calm, you know. Totally. Yeah. So anyway, we're we're talking about tools, tools how to yes. bring your life. Um, more in focus of what gives you life purpose, what gives you joy. And remember everyone watching this and listening to this podcast is that it really is every day. You know, when you talk about life purpose and soul purpose and you think, oh, it's just this rabbit ahead of you that's running ahead of you that you can never quite catch up, you know, like, like you know, oh, my gosh, yes. you're trying to catch, up, catch something. No, yeah, it's every yeah. day. So it's every morning. It's it's yeah it's bring... I think there's a sorry Alicia there's a discipline there that yeah. I've found that it's like it's not just the 28 day um challenge it's 365 days every day every year every day isn't that interesting so mm. to swing us off um being in an inner state that we're not enjoying we actually have to add an element of, would you call it discipline? Would you, um, would you call it attention? Bringing your attention on yeah on something. You actually have to bring an element into into every day in order to get off a negative stream and into a positive stream. Yes, absolutely. It's it's self awareness and it's wanting to break old habits and make new ones. Mm. Um, and realise that it's something that you have to do every day. You have, you have to build your body every day, um, eat healthy every day, drink water and stick with those rituals that build the mind, the mind muscle. Yeah. Doing weights build in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Building the mind. Claudine, you're very inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I read a lot, I research a lot and, I'm, and it's fun. I'm, I love it. I'm passionate about it. So I guess. Yeah. Um, some some things do manage to stick. Look, I, d I just want to say that it's really easy to get sad in this life. It's easy to because, you know, the, the news, yeah. the neighbours, the people you live with, um, you pick up it's something and you read it or you watch 
you're scrolling through Facebook and social yes. media and uh, and it touches you and it makes you feel a little bit down. It's really interesting because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm feeling really relaxed maybe and I'm feeling really good. And then I, do you know what I say to myself? I go, this is bad. This is not good. I say, oh, I can relax now. I don't have to think about all the projects that I have to do. And I'm feeling really great. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open my phone and I'm going to check to see and read the New York Times and the Washington Post. <laughs> As I'm we do. To, and I'm going to see what's happening in the world. <laughs> so sit down. <laughs> and, and sometimes we're disappointed in what we read. <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody pops the balloon. Bang. Yeah. And it's like, and I think I can stay strong and stay yeah. in my momentum of of feeling really good throughout the day <laughs> and by the fourth and fifth and sixth news item that I'm reading. I hear you. I'm yes. really, I'm, I can feel the switches in me go click, 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 down, yes. down, down. I know. And a, a friend of mine, she just doesn't watch TV much or especially not the news. And sometimes we just, well, we like to be updated, especially now with pandemic and things happening in the mm. world. But there's, I think there's a limit to how much we watch and take in. Um, still being yeah. real, and but yeah, I know what you're saying. It doesn't yeah. take much to switch all that good work you've done. I know, isn't that crazy? Mm. Yeah. Oh it is. my gosh, I know everybody watching this and, and listening to this going, yeah, me. You know, yes. it's all of us. We we all do it. It's so easy, yeah. you know, with 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 our mobile phones. Like in two seconds, for like, you just pick it up and and see what the rest yeah. of the world. It's there. What, yeah. What's going? And so you know. Claudine, there's this thing about discipline and discipline's got a really bad rap. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Discipline. What a horrible word. <laughs> yeah, someone mentioned that the other day too. Maybe there's and a better word. <laughs> yeah, there is. I'll, I'll think of it. Yeah. <laughs> but it, um, discipline sounds like, like like I watch the SAS series. So you're training hard out in the, oh my in the gosh. conditions and you've got to be disciplined or in the forces. It's, but I think oh my there's... Gosh that maybe people might relate discipline to that mm. and it might not be a nice word um, but there's there's plenty of other words we can put in our toolbox <laughs> but I yeah. think it's just more immersion immersing immersion in, yeah okay yeah immersing okay. in our training our mind training and, and I like that little, yeah yeah I like that because that's softer. it's like a longitudinal it's a decision yeah, immersion. It's a longitudinal decision to stay with an energy, isn't it? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, that, that works. I think that would work and relate It's to like a swimming in a people. swimming pool and staying there, staying in that swimming pool, yes. not getting out. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah, light bulb. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> immersion. Yes. I like that. I'm gonna. I am going to start using that word in my mind a yeah. little bit more because that makes more sense to me than discipline. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I'm gonna immerse myself in five minutes of meditation. I'm gonna immerse myself in moments of gratitude as I'm writing, or is, even as I'm, even during the meditation, I might decide to think about gratitude. But it's, um, it's just changing. Uh, that moment of meditation to yes. pulling in a slightly different energy or pu pulling in a slightly different feeling. So immersion and also to be thinking about as you go through your day, um, how to stay immersed in a feeling of gratitude, how to stay immersed in a feeling of positivity. That feels so much better to me, that, that word immersion. It does. Yeah. Yeah, that, it works it really well. It sits, sits well. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is just, I was going to say before, uh, um, I'd like to just tune in with my spirit guides and just see if they've got something to add. Look, awesome. because I talk I, because I talk to my spirit guides really easily, um, I'm just online with them like instantaneously, right? Do you know what they said? They said, no, nah, you guys have nailed it. <laughs> they actually oh. said, no, nah, so you guys have really just honestly have just given really, really good oh, awesome. information there. But, and but I'm just... I was just going to say, I'm your tutors. That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just going to say, let's just see if they've got anything else they want to add. Look, honestly, instantaneously, they're just saying meditation is a huge key because 
almost biochemically and the neuron pathways. Absolutely. It's like, it's really, it, it might sound super spiritual to meditate, but it's actually a physical thing. And a it, you're doing something to the patterns in your mind. You're doing something to the to your, your thought patterns. You're actually <clears throat> putting a blanket on them. It's like yes. putting them to sleep, yes. you know, and it making... Is you're actually making them calm down like so it's yeah they, they enjoy we, the, the sleep <laughs> that's right so my spirit, my spirit guys are saying that meditation is flicking a, it's um, as soon as you sit down close your eyes and say okay I'm going to meditate but you by the way you actually need to learn how to meditate because there's uh, quite a variety of ways to meditate there's there's what they call um, using a mantra which is a like just a sound or a word that you just repeat <clears throat> just really quickly. And um, yeah. as you repeat it, your mind's, it's like chewing on chewing gum. It's got something to chew on, but yes. um, the quiet part of you can separate away and just watch it chewing. <laughs> I love so that. It's, yeah. So that's one way of meditating. It's a ancient, ancient, ancient way of meditating. There's a few meaning thousands of years tradition in India. That's a, way of med meditating there's another way um, of stilling the mind of meditation which is following the breath uh, because <clears throat> as you follow the breath you start noticing a lot of tai chi masters and qigong masters talk about chi which is uh, the life force energy which is just behind the breath and as you just put your mind and attention on the breath as it's going in and out um, a bigger part of you starts noticing this life force that's pushing the breath in and out. And so yeah. when, you're, when your conscious mental attention is on that actual force, the life force, uh, it starts to pull you into itself and you start kind of, it's like falling into the ocean. You start um, relaxing and immersing yourself in Beautiful. life force. Yeah. So that's quite, I mean, that's the way I work. That's the way I meditate. I just yes. love diving into that sort of ocean of life force. Yeah, I love, I love it. Yeah, because yeah, we don't stop to to focus on our breath throughout the day. We rarely stop and take notice of it. <laughs> oh, I know, right there. So, yeah, so that's All a the really time. nice way. All the time we're travelling in our day, we're either stuck in our thoughts, everybody watching this completely will relate, I know. So we're just, because we've got projects, we've got um, things that we have to achieve on our checklist of the day. <laughs> yeah. And so we we're thinking, life. we're strategizing, we're going, okay, I've got to do this and then this and then this and then this and then this and focusing and you're using our thoughts. And what you just touched on just then is so important, which is OMG. Sometimes let's just unplug from that stream of have to's and just notice that we're, we're, we're human, we're in a body, we've actually got a body and we can just follow the breath, which is almost the switch, the life switch, isn't it? Light switch yes. and life it's switch. Every, <laughs> it's everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because one day that breath's not going to be there. So it's like to follow that breath. And immediately what my spirit guides were wanting to say just before is that it is a switch. And when you put your attention uh, on something like your breath and the life force, just just for a moment, just stopping. Um, biochemistry changes, the neuron pathways start changing. Like a lot of things in your body start changing just because yeah. when you do that. And it forces your body to relax. So, and if you do it regularly, just, just mentioning just quickly, a quick rave here on meditation. Um, yes. It lowers blood pressure, it lowers cortisol, it just starts to help your physical body bounce back to health, by the way, let alone all the psychological and spiritual yes. benefits as well. So, yeah. Yeah, there's, so, there's almost no way, no reason not to do it. <laughs> there is no reason not to do it. There is no reason not to do it. Yeah. So so um, how that relates to the question, I think that might have been a slight, <laughs> a we, slight yeah. going off on a tangent. <laughs> but I, I think it does um, because Gail wanted to know how to, to move more powerfully and permanently in the direction. So I think I think that we touched on some good points there with the 
finding little rituals of clarity first and then moving towards and that immersion so it is becomes permanent claudine and absolutely true and the last thing i want to add and i can feel my spirit guys just suggesting it to me is that the more you meditate and the more you go into immersion you get stronger and internally as you're saying building strength building strength building and um yes. and that sort of inner strength starts leading you into your leadership and into your soul purpose and into your life purpose so um it's really interesting isn't it it's about turning on the turning around to the internals building the strength on the inside and then that starts to show up yes and that's it yeah not so much always looking out huh it's it all does start with us yeah love that yeah all right so let's just call that a day <laughs> i think okay i think i'll be very happy with that with the answer to that and um yeah let's hope I'll put some love out there <laughs> <laughs> Claudine, thank you so much. Thanks for coming thank on. Thank you. I'm excited that we're starting this podcast because we're just going to get an opportunity to answer a lot of people's questions. And for those of you who are watching this, um, there is a button below or there's a link below where you can leave your question. You can speak it into a microphone and we will be answering your questions. Exciting. So, Thank you, Claudine. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thanks, That's everyone. So yeah. Bye. So much love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>